Hey everybody, Dave here. Hope you're having an awesome day. So, there is a fellow YouTuber out there and a maker. His name is Andy Mecca. I'll put a link in the description below. He makes really cool stuff, so be sure to check him out. He put out a little challenge to make droids out of little caps. Just things that everybody has laying around the house. And as soon as I, as I saw it, I was like, I totally, <laughs> I have to make one of these. So, I've got a little stash. I have no clue what I'm gonna make yet, but let's go make something cool. Come on, let's do it. Okay, here's my lids from my bits box. I got a whole bunch of them here, and like that's too big. Uh, that could work. It's kind of cool. I drew this little sketch so I can kind of see. I want like an arm that comes up and holds a head. So uh, I'm kind of looking around here, and I think these two lids here are kind of cool. The tread's kind of dorky, but I got something up my sleeve for that. Um, I got this toothpaste cap and another little cap there. That's kind of kind of cool. Looks like Star Wars, the little droid Dio, or D Zero. Um, he's cool. Uh, Final faction part, maybe a little rectangular head. Uh, I got this arm. It's from a Gundam kit. I don't even know what it is, but it could be a cool little bracket that could hold the head up. So I think that might work. Yeah, there's a little organic protein drink. Sand those things down so they glue and stick together better. And that's gonna work pretty nice. Um, I ended up using this cap on the side piece here. It looks like a nice little hub. So I'm gonna drill some holes through the bottom and then through the side so I can run some wiring. I wanna do a T-light. Yeah, the wiring's gonna fit right up that little stem there and that should work pretty nice. So I'm drilling a little hole so the wire can shoot out the side. The wires fit really nice. Yeah, that's good. And then I'm gonna, oh man, I glued that together too soon, so I had to take it apart. That way I can run my wire through. And now that I have that open, I can glue that back together, glue this piece on. Sometimes you gotta stop and think through your, all the steps you're wiring. So just gluing this little arm on now, that's working out really nice. And it's gonna house the wiring and hide it really pretty cool so I had this great idea that I would notch out this little piece here this is gonna hold the head sticking out and so I dremeled that and I don't know what I was thinking it doesn't fit at all so eh, that's all right plan B I'll just knock out two of those little notches and clean that up a little bit and this st styrene tubing should fit right in there now I'm measuring where I need to cut this for the little stem, glue that on. Got my wiring all running through there, that looks good. So now this tread looks kind of goofy and I didn't really want to sand it off, so drum roll. Here's my secret weapon. Tread from a tank kit. I got this tank kit at a yard sale for, I can't even remember, it was like a dollar or two. So I cut down this little piece here and I'm going to super glue this on. I think this is gonna be pretty amazing <laughs> yes I, I, this is gonna be great um, okay so that's gonna fit I'm gonna notch that out um, so the wires can go through the bottom and I need to sand this first so it will stick really good so give that a good sanding and then let's just kind of start gluing this piece by piece I got I started just about an inch or a half an inch and then kind of just working my way around and yeah, I think this is gonna be pretty great. It's holding really nice. That was my one fear is the rubber and the plastic lids that it wouldn't stick that great, but looks good. I found this little piece in my bits box. It's from a mouse and it says Microsoft on the back. So it's kind of funny. It has a couple little ridges on it. So I'm gonna sand this off. And I think that's gonna make a really cool little head. So I'm just kind of sand that down and there it looks nice and smooth and clean. Let's get that glued up. Yeah, I like that. It's kind of cool because it has those little things shooting off the back. Um, drill the hole through this cap. Slide that on. I've got it all nice and neat. And then I'm like, uh, how am I supposed to get the wires out? So I was trying to feed them back and forth and <laughs> that's just not working. So I was like, okay. 
I'm gonna use my brain here and oh <laughs> it's like a, a puzzle for a monkey right <laughs> to get the banana out so I just flip that over and then I'm able to kind of fiddle with the wire there grab some tweezers and this is actually strangely satisfying to just pull that through so I did the same for the red wire and I think that's gonna work now I gotta figure out how to solder this thing together but I got a couple lights so I got a green light I got an orange light that looks like a construction worker I want it to be kind of friendly so I'm going with that purple light I think it's kind of fun I got the light soldered on and then just double check to make sure it works because I don't want to glue this thing all together and it not work so woo it's working and then I took my needle nose pliers and I took it took a while but kind of fed it through and yeah that's gonna work let's go ahead and glue this little guy in there that looks good and now we'll go ahead and close this up I did test it one more time and it was still working so glue the back on and that is enclosed in and not going anywhere now the front of it looked kind of dorky so I found this little bit from a Gundam box I don't know what it is but it makes like a nice little face shield and then I'm just adding a couple of extra little pieces on the side here just to make it look aesthetically cool got a little circle template here making a little polystyrene circle I did sand it down make it nice and round and I'm just filling in that hole got a little tank bit gluing that on centering it up I think that looks pretty cool and I, I glued this uh, little I don't know if you can see it that great but it is just a little piece of polystyrene just to give a little dimension and then I had this little thing I ended up taking this off I didn't really like it I added something that felt a little bit more mechanical so anyways I got the tread here and I was looking at it, I'm like oh, are you kidding me I have to prime and paint this thing so I kind of got excited and jumped the gun here so I'm gonna go ahead and peel this tread off that way it's easier to prime and paint but it's looking pretty cool I think I am ready to move to the painting stage so here's just a little shot of it primed up I'm just using a gray rust-oleum primer and then a nice gloss rust-oleum white I hit it with a couple coats and then time to get into the detailing just painting the tires you know the outer tire black some of the hubs and components silver these little end pieces these are kind of going to be my antennas I normally put long tall antennas on but I'm going to call those my antennas and then I'm adding a little bit of blue because I wanted kind of a R2D2-esque kind of feel to it kind of a friendly little robot put some wash on it with the Nuln oil and I knocked over my Nuln oil and spilled like an eight dollar bottle ah! oh well <laughs> decals from a tank um, or maybe a helicopter I can't remember but the decals really add a nice touch to it so if you can find old models at a yard sale grab them because uh, even if they're half built or kind of messed up those decals are a nice touch and I'm using some Vallejo rust here and this is just adding a little bit of dimension to it and it just it's kind of just the finishing touches so I'm gonna build a little uh, diorama so I've got some old screen some polystyrene just kind of making like a what would be like the floor of a ship or something so paint the base black here just using some acrylic black paint use some um, tacky glue and kind of smear it around with my finger this stuff dries really fast and it's pretty great and I'm just gluing that screen down and then I took this Citadel silver and I'm just dry brushing it I don't know if it shows up super great here but it looks pretty cool it looks like a metal grate so just dry brushing that and then I'm gonna go ahead and you can see I scribed some little lines and stuff like that so I'm gonna glue this down and yeah I think this is gonna be a nice finishing touch and I think we're about good to call this one finished so let's do it okay that was a pretty fun challenge um thank you andy if you've got some caps i challenge you to go out there and make a little droid with the with the caps i have to be honest about the halfway point i was really not liking it i, I it wasn't quite coming together how i thought but i kept forging ahead and thinking through the different parts that i put on and how i painted it and in the end it turned out 
pretty cool. I, I, I'm pretty pleased with it. I like the little LED. We'll take some turnaround shots of this uh, in just a second, but don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, notification bell, and as always, it's a great day to be a toy nerd. Have a good one.